Welcome, dear guests, and thank you very much for your attention. Our world is changing. These changes hold great opportunities for us. It will be challenging, but absolutely manageable. You just have to put your mind to it. Let the facts speak for themselves. Take these arguments back to your teams, and you will see that they'll be convinced. Hey, Blondie, <sighs> here to save the world again? Get real. Nobody believes that fluffy stuff about flexibility, diversity, life balance, happiness. <laughs> Go back to La La Land. You again? Don't listen to Miss Wise Ass. Didn't anyone else want to listen to you? She's stuck in the Middle Ages, and she hasn't come to grips with the fact that the world has moved on. Moved on? <laughs> the only ones who have moved on are you and your esoteric workplace of the future, friends. The challenges companies are facing are real. Competition from emerging economies, aging workforce, labor shortage, I mean... Ooh, demographic change. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> Come on, nobody believes these stories. Don't we have enough people looking for work? I mean, don't we have enough applicants for open jobs? Doesn't each and every one of you know at least one person who's looking for work right now? Huh. Labor shortage. Who cares? And if more babies are born in India, we'll just get Ranjit and Sanjit to come and work over here. <laughs> You're so short-sighted. Demographic shifts doesn't happen overnight. Even if the effects are not noticeable yet, we have to act now. We have to future-proof our companies. <sighs> it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark, you know? Love it. <laughs> future-proof. You know what? Our businesses don't work like that. What counts are quarterly results and the bottom line at the end of the financial year. I mean, really. Who cares about what's going to happen in 10 years when all it's about surviving the next 12 months and the next shareholder meeting? Oh, yes. That's a great attitude. That's going to get us really far. Haven't you learned anything from a recent crisis? I mean, it's not only about what looks good on your balance sheet. It's also about taking responsibility for your employees and future generations. Future generations. <laughs> I ain't busting my ass for no future generations. <sighs> you know, what do you call them? Uh, millennials? Digital natives? That's like a code word for can't get a straight sentence out, but chatting on Facebook all day. Yeah. <laughs> You know what counts is here and now. Companies that don't treat their people well will not survive. I mean, Schlecker, 25,000 people unemployed, millions and millions of euros lost. What do you say about that? <laughs> I think I did a good job on that one. <laughs> Survival of the fittest capitalistic Darwinism in its purest form. I love it. You are so egoistic. The women who lost their jobs and their livelihood, they had children, they had families, they had bills to pay, they had... Oh, don't even start me on the women's issue. You know, I mean, how do they pretend to have full job commitment when they only want to work four hours a day and only in the morning and only on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday? And sorry, I can't make the call on Wednesday night. That's yoga night. That's not yoga night. That's ridiculous. <laughs> life is work and life has to fit around work and not the other way around. You're mistaken. Life and work can be integrated. Evidence clearly shows that people who have the possibility to work flexibly are more engaged, more like efficient in their work, more, oh, you know... Oh, bullshit. Our world doesn't work like that. 
Right now, we have two billion people working in China, in India, in Brazil, 24-7, 365 days a year. You know what we call that? Competition. How are we supposed to keep up if people just come in and leave the office whenever they please? Get real. Our businesses run on people who work like slaves. And that's the story. <laughs> Excellent. And you know what the result of that is? Burnout. Productivity loss. Our economy has moved on from the industrial age. We don't have to work like that anymore. We don't have, you know, we have technology that enables us to work flexibility yeah. and work, you know, and have like everything to work, you know, so flexible and oh, everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the quality of life, you know, that that's what you're talking yes, about. Yes, it's not all about the money, it's about quality time for our lives, oh. that's it. Quality time for our lives, now you're really gonna make me cry. <laughs> Get with the program. Life is work. We don't pay people to have quality time. We pay for performance. People need a strong hand, clear rules, and lots of work to keep them busy. You are so backward thinking. But you know what? Time will tell, and you will see. Hey, where are you going? I'm not finished with you. Come back. Man, what a nerd. Let's see what's on the program here. 12.45, the art of thinking clearly. Nah, don't need that.